Alright guys, welcome to another Fortnite video. Today we're going to be attempting the vending machine only challenge. And um, yeah, I haven't done a challenge video in a while actually, but today we're going to be giving this challenge a go. Going to be landing football fields, we can see a purple vending machine already, this is a very good start. Pistol, RBG, ooh, Scar 400 wood, okay. I'm going to get that, definitely. Um, so yeah, we're attempting the vending machine only challenge, obviously the uh, rules are very self-explanatory. Uh, but obviously the only weapons that you can use are, um, well, weapons from vending machines, so obviously you can purchase them uh, by... Um, you know, trading in materials to get the weapons, uh, those are the only guns you can't use. But if you kill someone, you can grab their materials, you can grab their ammo, and you can grab their um, medkits and all that, but uh, you can't grab their weapons. So the only like guns and all that you can get are the stuff from vending machines. But obviously, um, you're allowed to pick up people's like uh, bandages, shields and stuff like that, and uh, materials and ammo. But obviously no weapons. So um, yeah, this is my second attempt of doing this. I just played a game, and... Um, yeah, I, it didn't quite go well. I, I literally I found a grey vending machine with grey AR, and I went to all like most of the vending machine locations, and unfortunately there just weren't any good vending machines with like any like you know reasonable weapons. I had a burst as well, which wasn't too bad, but it just wasn't really good that game. So hopefully we can do a bit, bit well. Hopefully we do a bit better in this game if I can actually speak, and um, yeah, hopefully it can go well. Uh, obviously we're just gonna collect a load of materials now. Rocking the survival specialist skin with a plunger pickaxe. Uh, look, look, they actually go quite well together. Actually, these um, well, the uh, pickaxe and the uh, skin goes quite well together. Um, but yeah, this is you know, ho hopefully we can get this victory royale. Obviously, most videos that I upload are usually just victory royale gameplays. And um, yeah, if you guys have any other like challenge uh, suggestions, then let me know in the comments. Um, any challenges? Uh, I was thinking of doing the shotgun only challenge. I might give that a go. Because, um, yeah, that seems like a pretty decent challenge, actually. I think that would be a good challenge to attempt. So I might do that soon. Um, but we have enough wood. We're going to purchase the purple scar, which is very nice. And um, I would like to get the RPG, but it's 400 mil, and we're not quite in the circle, so we're probably not going to have time to get it. But there we go, first weapon purchase. There's a pump there. I would like to grab it, but obviously you can't grab the ammo with them. Right. Obviously I'm just going to go around collecting ammo and stuff now. No loot box, but there. But yeah, I think football field is the best place to land um, when you're attempting this challenge. Definitely is. So uh, it, well, it has usually it has at least one vending machine. There's two uh, vending machine locations. One is obviously there, and the other one is in the, uh, the football fields. And um, yeah, I think it is the best place to land. Someone's been here then. They missed the slurp juice though. I'll take that. He's got a bit of shield now. And yeah, there's only 40 people left already. Um, I have noticed with the cha this challenge though. Um, you don't really get many kills doing this challenge because obviously you spent most of the game going out your way to collect materials and all that and um, obviously you don't really get many kills doing this challenge yeah someone's been here they missed that chest though and I thought I heard footsteps someone's here our first opponent very nice kill but there we got like two headshots in them got a blue tack as well oh I wish I could pick it up but that's against the rules, obviously we can grab their uh, bandages and their ammo them. Maybe we'll just put that on the end. Right. Bit of ammo over there. That's our first kill. They had a blue tack as well, that'd be perfect. Oh, they left they um left this chest. Might as well grab this. Hopefully we can get like uh, some more shields or something. That'll be perfect. Okay, more bandages, I'll take it. Not too bad. We haven't got too many materials. I think obviously if we come across a vending machine that has like you know something that we could consider consider purchasing which is probably going to be a shotgun we need a shotgun obviously the scar is actually decent at uh, close range as you just saw where did this guy come from obviously melted there with the scar i don't know where he came from she had footsteps all of a sudden and i just saw that guy running okay there we go they had a mini shield for us as well perfect med kit as well i'll take that like usually with this challenge uh, you you pro you like you carry mainly healables, um, so that's probably pro like what you do most of the time. Usually you have like two weapons, maybe like a scar and a shotgun, and then you have like you know minis and then medkits and all that. That's pro that's probably like what my loadout's probably gonna be looking like towards the end of this game. Twenty eight people remaining, one two kills, not too bad. Um, obviously for this challenge anyway. Obviously um. I'd be happy to get like six kills, seven kills, maybe something like that. Obviously, sometimes I aim for like higher kill games, but with challenges, obviously, it's hard enough to get the win, let alone to get you know, a high kill game. So, I'd be happy if I get a win, no matter how many kills I get. 
for this challenge. Um, but yeah, just gonna go around them, collect a lot of more materials, and um, obviously I'm using the face cam for today's video as well. Uh, I, I don't use my face cam for like all my videos, but I think you know I use them. Obviously, I use my face cam for like some of my videos, but not all of them. I think I'm gonna start using my face cam a lot more. I think I think you guys probably prefer it if I do have my face cam as well. Let me know. Do you prefer my videos with face cam? You probably do. I think it's a bit better. Like when I watch YouTubers and they have face cams, I find it a lot more, you know, like entertaining to watch. Um, see, so I'm probably gonna watch uh, Rocket the face cam for um, most of my videos now. Head into Shifty. Can't do any action around. Well, just find the circle here as well. Send to Shifty. We've got a decent amount of materials. Obviously, if we found like a gold vending machine, we'd be pretty much able. We would be able to afford something if we just collect a few more trees. Uh, we've got a decent amount of woods. Not too bad in terms of stone and metal. Well, like a llama would be perfect for this challenge. If you can find a llama, like it's just so perfect for this challenge. Um, but yeah, I really want to get a shotgun. It's like, like, I actually need a shotgun so badly. Obviously this car is decent at close range, but... Like, the perfect situation would be now to uh, go head into Shifty, find a blue vending machine with a blue tack for 300 wood. That would be perfect. And then, like, an RPG for 300 wood as well. Then we could have a scar, blue tack, uh, blue RPG, that would just be perfect. It's a green vending machine. Some wooden pallets here as well, I'll grab them. They give you a load of wood, and obviously you need materials to complete this challenge. Some minis, maybe? Oh, green tack, okay, I'm gonna get that. Definitely. Okay, at least we have a shotgun then. It's not too bad. And it, it's, it's not like a great one, it's a green one, so it's decent. You can get, you can get the job done. Obviously, there's not uh, too much of a difference between the green one and the blue one. So, yeah, we should be good. Give some shield. Oh, literally perfect. Okay, I'll grab those. There we go. Got some minis now. Are your explosions going off? Oh, another medkit. Very nice. Okay, we got a load of healables now, so we shouldn't be worrying about um, about healables. We've got a decent loader now. This is probably the ideal loader. There's some blue up there. Obviously you can't grab it though. No chest but there. And I think most of Shifty has even been looted. Which is quite surprising. Obviously some of it has but not all of it. No chest. Got the armor box. Gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to head into circle as you can see. Not quite in the circle but here. It's gonna like be ending here in like salty. Someone has been here, they've gone to Battle Pass. Uh, battle Pass, Battle Bus. Someone's went up to there. Obviously that's gonna be all looted. Uh, I'm gonna head to Salty. And um hopefully see if we can pick up a few kills or something. Uh, I, there's probably gonna be some action in Salty, that's probably where a lot of uh, people are gonna be. With this challenge as well, like I don't really like getting into build battles because you just use all of your materials and then you can't really buy anything from a vendor machine. You know, we don't really need anything from a vending machine at this point of the game. Like, we've got what we need. Obviously, if we can get, like, an RPG or something, that'll be, like, well, ideal. That'll be, like, you know, better, but... This should be good enough to, um... Help us get this victory while... Alright, 16 people left. It's not too bad. Head in salty. Now, big shield would be nice. We can see one of them on the floor. We haven't gone to too much action, obviously. Um, obviously, well, we landed a football field. It's like, barely anyone goes there. We saw two people seen anyone since. There's a pump on the floor as well. I would like to grab that. Mostly we can't. There's probably a lot of people around here to be honest. Yeah, you can see there's been building here. It wouldn't surprise me if there's like more fighting in Salty right now. There has to be more people in here. I think someone actually might be there maybe. Someone's been there definitely obviously but I'm not sure. So it's going to be about Salty and Fatal. So this game's gonna be ending near. Fourteen people remaining. Not too bad. Obviously there's um an underground bunker in this house as well. To my left, that's pretty cool. obviously cool addition they added recently. Well not recently, but you know, quite recently. They had like a, you know an underground bunker in the, the house in Salty. There's like so many layers as well, it's like it goes so deep underground. Been some building there. I'm assuming uh, someone's just built up by there using like a hop rock. Can snipe that. I think that's from like north direction. Yeah, I think it's from like that. Yeah, there. I think I saw someone over there. I saw some building. Yep. He's coming in with hop rock. We didn't even hit him once. Can we 
could try and get an easy head choice, poor Gimbia. Okay, he's sniping. I try and go around. Don't know, we're in a bit of a tough position, Bia. This guy's got a sniper, so we need to be careful he doesn't snipe our head off. Okay, someone else is sniping as well. Thankfully, that's not a me, though. Oh, God. Oh, no. I hate it when that happens. It's like below me somewhere. Can't quite see him now. I think he's shooting all this down. Yep, there he is. Wow. As if it took 60 damage from that. Alright, let's place a trap. Let's pop a medkit quickly. Oh, he's coming in here. Okay, let's pop a medkit. Oh, no, he's destroying that. Alright, come on. Come in. Okay, this guy knows what he's doing. He's gonna edit that. Obviously, if I was in there. Okay. I'm gonna try and uh, put this medkit on quickly. Because, uh, we we'll 40 HP after that. Okay, we have got a trap there, so if he comes in through that door. He's placing traps as well. Make sure I've reloaded. Alright. He's above me. He's placing a load of traps as well. If he hadn't placed like six traps or something like that. I think he's like here. Yep. He's like directly underneath me up here. How many traps does this guy have? Jeez, wait, I'm so confused on him. So that wasn't his trap then. Because he each got hit by that trap. I'm so confused. He took damage from that trap because I heard it go off. He must have hit that and then. Yeah, maybe that was someone else's trap. Yeah, I think someone must have just placed it there from like early on in the game. For um, if someone walked in that room. I was so confused because he placed like so many traps. But I think that was someone else's trap and he got hit by that and then we finished him off. Right, make sure we destroy all these. Alright, there goes that all of them. Okay, there's so much good loot here as well. Oh, we got snipers, scars. Well, obviously we don't need another scar, but blue pump, blue tack as well. Oh, look at those materials though. Alright, perfect. If we feel like if we see like a gold vending machine right now, with like an RPG or like a sniper or something like that, or like a grenade launcher, that'd be perfect. Cause we we could buy anything right now from a vending machine, even though we don't really need to, obviously. But if we do see someone in a vending uh, in a um, if one, one of my own, but if I do see a vending machine, then um, we could buy anything. There is someone there though. That's um freshly built, um a build. That's a freshly built one by one, so someone's definitely in there. Let's go on the top of this watchtower. And. Oh, it's a chest here. Cover that. Um, see, see if we can get a side ground. What we have. Someone has got to be in there. Yeah, someone below me. Okay. We got 999 stone, 999 metal. A load of wood as well. Okay, we knocked a bit of a shield off at least. Oh, I've been outdone by it. Is this getting shot down? I think there's someone else who started to shoot it. Yeah, look, he just died. They have no idea. Some solid shots on us, but there. Let me 
see if I can pop these minis quickly. Don't have time for that. Alright. Cheese, only four people left as well. Okay, this guy's underneath me somewhere. This guy's shot down, I think. Yeah, I, I need to drop down. Someone's just gonna shoot this structure down, I know there will be. You look they down there. Okay, they've dropped down. That, that's the person that we were shooting at just now. We can easily just shoot that down. Oh, they have an RPG. Oh, they're so weak. They must be on like 50 health or something. Yeah, look at the blizzard traps. They're trying to heal up. Go. Alright. That person was a good player as well. Cold RPG. We can't take it up. Jeez, we only got 169 wood after that. We used so much materials. Oh my god. Speaking of build battles, look at that. Someone's had an intense build off there. Alright, two people left. Alright, I'm gonna pop one of these medkits. We have three campfires as well. We have so many heal balls. Three, three minis, 15 bandages, three medkits, three campfires. Alright, we're looking good. Got a load of materials as well. Not so much wood, but in terms of stone and metal. Looking really good. We've got one person spectating us. Just gonna set up here. Just gonna build up. Have like a temporary base up here. Win the circle just above. And um, let's pop one of these med kits. Alright. I don't know if someone's up there. If there is, then they could easily get a good shot on me now. Nah, well, they couldn't, but. Nah, there, there's no one up there. They would have dropped down because it's it's got barely any support that structure has. Supply drop over there. It's not any point going for us to, though, because this we're, we're probably gonna get like a gold RPG or something, and we just won't be allowed to take it. So unless we get like a launch pad or something, but we don't really need it to be honest. We could have, we've had, we have everything we need here, so there's no reason for us to go to. We may as well just stick here for them, even though we're not quite in the circle. I'm sure to as um well these last two people are them. Can't hear any action going off. I can't see any building either. I have no idea where these last people are. They could be anywhere in a. Someone's probably in that little like forest, but there. Maybe. I'm guessing. Okay, there's someone. In the distance. Okay, I think they're behind that tree. Can't go really see them. I just about. I just about saw them. I think they're behind that tree. You know. I'm trying to make sure they haven't left. I'm push towards them. I think. I saw them go behind that tree. I don't think they're there anymore though. Oh, there they are, they're going for that supply drop. Alright. Now's our chance. Four wood, but there, I'll take it. It's definitely not going to make a difference, but... Oh, they're fighting. Come on, I won these last two kills. Alright, there's one. Yes, let's go! GG. Victory Royale. Vending machine only challenge as well. Jeez, that was a good game. We only had a scar and a shotgun as well for that entire game. But like we didn't have any RPGs or anything or any snipers. We literally just had two weapons and then a lot of heal balls. And that is the vendor machine only challenge complete. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed as well if you're new around here. I uh, will be attempting more challenges as well on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure my post notifications on as well so you don't miss an upload when it does go live on the channel. And uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter as well. There's a link to that in the description of this video. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Peace.